Welcome to the Bodyweight Travel Program. My name is Michael Bull. This program is for anyone that wants to maintain their health, fitness, strength, physique, and sanity anytime they don't have access to a gym, whether that be traveling the world, on holidays, or stuck at home. In this video, I'm going to take you through the Bodyweight Travel Program step by step. Let's start with a quick tour of the app. This is your home screen, my dashboard. You'll see here today's schedule. Being day one, all you have to do is read the Bodyweight Travel Program Guide and fill in the registration form. Let's have a quick look at both. Click on the Bodyweight Travel Program Guide, view document. Have a good read through the guide as this will explain everything you need to know for your program. After you finish reading the guide, click on the registration form, complete form. Fill in all the sections and when you've finished, scroll down to the bottom, sign and save. Day two will be your first workout. Before we head into the workout, I want to show you through a few more features of the app. If you look down the bottom, you'll see the schedule tab. The schedule is where you'll find all of your workouts. There are six workouts scheduled every second day for 12 days. Now, if you miss a day or you can't do your workout for any reason, you can reschedule your sessions manually. So let's go ahead to session one and let's say you can't do your workout, click on the workout, click the reschedule button and you can move it to any day you like. My only rule is don't do back-to-back -back workouts on consecutive days. Make sure you have a rest day in between. The programs tab is where you simply view what skill level you're doing, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. Don't use this tab to access your workouts as the reps and intensity don't change. I'm now gonna take you through your first workout step-by-step. -step. Click on the schedule button, go to day two, click on your workout, view workout. This will bring up the summary of the workout. A superset is where you perform two exercises together instead of one at a time. For example, you'll be doing a set of split squats, having a rest, doing a set of knee push-ups, having a rest, and repeating all those sets until they're completed. When you're ready, click Start Workout. I recommend going up into the top right-hand side of the screen and clicking on the solid square button. This will bring up the swipe across mode. I like this mode because it's cooler and it's easier to use. If you look down the bottom, you'll see a stopwatch. If you click play, you can time how long your workout goes for. When you're ready, swipe across to the warm up. The first thing you do is click on the little I button in the bottom right hand corner of the exercise. This will bring up the demonstration video and the written instructions on what to do. For example, part one says general warm up for five minutes. Walk for three minutes, followed by a slow jog for two minutes. Part two is dynamic range of motion plus mobility warm up for three minutes. This involves doing jumping jacks, cross jacks, bum kicks, etc. Once you've watched the video, read the instructions and completed the warm up, click the X button. You do not need to record data for the warm up. When you've finished it, simply swipe across to your first exercise. Your first exercise is a split squat. Let's go through this exercise together. The first thing you do, click on the little information button and watch the demonstration video. The written instructions fully explains the exercise. There is primary body parts trained, secondary aspects trained, the intention, AKA what to focus on during the exercise, the setup of the exercise, the technique itself or the movement, how to record and how to progress. Once you've watched the video and read the technique instructions, click the little X button and perform the exercise. You'll see here under split squat, it says reps, tempo and rest. These are all explained in detail in the guide, but I'm gonna go through them here too. Reps, three R-I-R. What this means is three reps in reserve. Reps in reserve tells you how many reps to stop short of your maximum effort or your maximum reps. For example, three R-I-R means you do as many reps as you can until you feel like you only had three reps left in the tank and then you'd stop. Please note, if you reach 30 reps, also stop. The benefits of resistance training start to diminish after 30 reps. If you can get more than 30 reps for an exercise, the exercise is considered too easy. You're ready to progress to the next skill level for that exercise. For now, record as 30. Tempo. Tempo tells you how fast to go during each phase of the exercise. For example, 3011 means three seconds to lower to the bottom position, no pause at the bottom, one second to come back up to the top, and a one second pause at the top to regain your balance. 
Rest tells you how long to rest between exercises. So after you finish your set of split squats, you'd rest for one to two minutes until you did your next exercise, which is gonna be the knee push up in this example. Once you've done your reps, record. Click on the little pencil button. Let's say you got 20 reps. Let's say you got 100% range of motion because you could get your knee all the way to the floor. And the last section here is notes, where you can leave notes for yourself for next time, but this is not compulsory. Once you click save set, it will automatically bring you to the next exercise. After you finish the two sets, which has been prescribed for this session, you'll move on to exercises three and four. Repeat this exact same process for every exercise in the session. Once you've finished the session, you'll come to the cool down. I highly recommend taking the time to do the cool down. Click on the information button, watch the demonstration video and read the instructions. Once you've finished the cool down, swipe across and mark your workout as complete. Click exit workout to return to the home screen. You'll see here now that your first workout has been crossed out and ticked off. Next, I'm going to explain how your workouts progress. Let's go to workout two. If you remember from the first workout, the split squat had a reps and reserve of three, and now it has a reps and reserve of two. So instead of leaving three reps in the tank, you'll now be leaving two reps in the tank. Let's go ahead to workout three to have a look how workout three progresses. Here, you'll notice that the reps and reserve have stayed the same. However, the sets have increased. Instead of doing two sets per exercise, you'll notice that you've got one, two, three sets per exercise. This increase in volume is the progression for this workout. You may be thinking, why do I need to use reps and reserve at all? Why can't I just push as hard as I can every workout? Well, training to your maximum effort too often induces excessive muscle damage, which leads to slower recovery, slower progress, inferior results, and increased risk of injury. Stopping one to three reps short of your maximum effort for most of your sets results in optimal adaptations regarding strength, hypertrophy, endurance, and reduces the risk of overload and injury. The intensity of your workouts increase over the six workouts. Only in the last workout will you perform as many reps as possible. This method will result in optimal and sustainable adaptation, progress, and results. Let's go ahead to workout three to have a look how workout three progresses. Here, you'll notice that the reps and reserve have stayed the same. However, the sets have increased. Instead of doing two sets per exercise, you'll notice that you've got one, two, three sets per exercise. This increase in volume is the progression for this workout. Next, this section tells you when to progress. If you found the exercises optimally challenging and fatigued well before 30 reps for most exercises, just repeat that same skill level. Repeat the beginner program. If you found the exercises too easy and achieved close to 30 reps for most of your exercises, progress to the next skill level. For example, beginner to intermediate. If you found the exercises too hard, couldn't perform them with good technique and confidence, or got less than five reps for most of the exercises, regress to the prior skill level. For example, advanced back to intermediate. Or option four is personalize. If you wanna get creative and personalize your own program based on your preferences and circumstances, you can perform different skill levels on different days. For example, beginner when you're feeling run down and intermediate when you're feeling good, or create your own workout with a combination of exercises from different skill levels. For example, split squats from the beginner program, normal push-ups from the intermediate program, and a single leg bridge with extended leg from the advanced. Nothing left to do but to do it. I hope to see you out there crushing it somewhere.